Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host on Click Digest, and today we have with us the Micromax Evo Note. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick unboxing and first impressions. Please pardon my uh, rough voice. I am having a sore throat. Evoke is a special series of smartphones that has been launched by Micromax in uh, collaboration with Flipkart. So these are Flipkart exclusive phones and offer some very interesting specifications and features that uh, you would probably not find on many phones. The Evoke Note is a 5.5 inch full high definition device. Before I open this, let me quickly show you the specification mentioned on the box. It comes with a fingerprint scanner. It supports 4G L uh, Volt E. There is around services, 4000 mAh battery. A full high definition display of 5.5 inch with 2.5D glass, octa core processor, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 GB of uh, ROM or internal memory. There is 13 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front camera, Android Marshmallow, metal unibody, fingerprint scanner on the front. The packaging here has been done very nicely. The model number mentioned on the box is E453. Let me cut through the seals. This phone has been priced uh, at 9499 or 9500 rupees exclusively available on Flipkart. I'm leaving Best Buy links in the description section below if you want to pick up one for yourself. So opening the box, the first thing in the box is the phone itself. And uh, this is a metal unibody construction phone. Let me keep this uh, to the side for a moment. Further in the box you have uh, this small compartment where you have a SIM removal tool. There are certain more things packed inside. So you get a soft silicon back cover. This comes with frosted finish. So it's a nice thing you have accessories in the box. Then some leaflets, user guides. There's a secure vault feature in this phone and, and uh, it has been explained here. So this is a software feature which uses your fingerprints and gives you some extra safety features and privacy features. Then you have a screen protector in the box, standard data cable. This uses a micro USB, so it's a USB to micro USB. You get a 3.5 mm set of uh, earphones, which looks uh, moderate in quality. And you get a, a wall charger or a power brick. This is a 2 ampere charger. Since the phone has a large 4000 mAh battery, it makes sense to have a 2000 uh, uh, MAH or 2 ampere charger to quickly charge it up. My best guess is it will still take some time to charge it properly because this is a exceptionally large battery. Approximately 1.52 times of the battery capacity you would find on a typical phone. Uh, phones of this size generally have 2000 mAh, 3000 mAh but not 4000 mAh. And this is the back finish. It is brushed uh, metal finished and does look very nice. Feels good in hand. Power wake up key is on the right hand side followed by volume rocker on top and on top of the phone is 3.5 mm audio port left side gets a sim card tray let me quickly open this up this is a dual sim hybrid tray so sim 1 and sim 2 uh, where you can either put second sim or a micro sd card for expansion there is 32 gigs of internal memory on the bottom is a charging port Two grills, one of this is a speaker grill. Uh, on the front is a button which depresses and also doubles up as uh, your fingerprint scanner. Let me quickly skip through the setup. And here we are at the home screen and uh, this does look like a nice quality display. The first impressions are good. You can see that from steep angles, the colors are not fading. The contrast ratios look good. The software interface here is quite easy to use. You hit on the app drawer and uh, you can see these applications. There's a lot of applications pre-installed which may be a trouble. The build used here is uh, Micromax's own build and here you have a round set of services which are provided by Micromax which gives you cab booking etc. So some value added services here. It also tells you about some notification access. It comes with the Android Marshmallow. And let me quickly show you the about phone here. This is Android 6 Marshmallow. And now let me show you the camera quality before uh, we wrap things up. And before I wrap it up, this is using a MediaTek processor, 1.3 GHz octa-core. 
and I'm just taking some pictures this is the front facing camera so this is how the pictures come out uh, so this is a selfie that I've just taken you can see the quality and clarity I would say it's not bad it's uh, pretty good it's capturing a lot of wide angle and from the rear facing camera as well it is capturing good amount of details there's not much of noise but this is a very well lit uh, environment so this phone seems to be doing good when it comes to camera let me also try to unlock this uh, with my fingerprint so it unlocks it's not the fastest it's not the most accurate but it does the job the fingerprint is at the front uh, on the rear is a 13 megapixel shooter you have dual tone uh, dual led flash and on the front is a 5 megapixel shooter this 2.5d curved glass silver lining running all around so in terms of appearance it does look good in terms of feel in hand it feels quite good and sturdy and gives you a lot of uh, value in this price segment because it comes with a large battery good set of cameras good design and build quality and all that under 10,000 rupees so in my opinion it is a good choice if you, if you want to pick up one for yourself go ahead and get one for yourself i'm leaving best buy link in the description section below if you enjoyed watching this video give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below and for more such videos stay subscribed this is your host Rohit Purana signing off thanks for watching